Who the fuck could that be? Oh, hello there. Welcome to my home. This is mi casa. And why are you pointing the camera down on the ground? Jesus. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, hello there. Come on in. Welcome to my home. My home is your home and their home. <laughs> that one over there. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Where, 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 how, do, how do I begin? All right, I've been living here since April of 2022. And um, it's a one bedroom independent unit in more of a countryside. We're at the top of the mountain, actually. It's very beautiful up here and it's also hard to breathe up here. But uh, <laughs> um, we're just in the <laughs> we're just in the living room entryway dining space kitchen hybrid area. Mm -hmm. So here we have the one wheel bow. My Bengal kitten actually uses this every day. Didn't have to train him on it, and um, it's fun to watch him go on it. A little bit uh, reminiscent of last thing Rock and getting caught with a tree next to a tower. And the there, but the land. I'm guessing that was a replay because it would be quite disturbing if you'd be laughing at this moment because nothing's happening in relation. Or pushing this off. <laughs> I bought this freezer at my last place because the fridge there was too small. Um, but I also figured it would be a good idea to have a separate freezer where I could store all my raw meats anytime I want to make food for Riley. I just feel like it would be easier if I had all of the raw components separate from my main fridge just because mm, I don't want the organs to be next to, you know, like my, um, my hot pocket or <laughs> some other things, but, um, I don't know. There's not a lot in there. So I, I don't want to show you guys it's just like beef liver. There's some chicken heart and then there's like some other kidneys and there's just other things. And then, uh, <laughs> here we have cat litter boxes. So these are both mod cat and, um, Top entry, so it should reduce tracking around the house. Although, of course, since this is hard floors, some of it still tracks out, but it's still a lot better than it would be if there was like front entry from over here. Um, here I have my one wheel. Not much else to say about that. And uh, all right, so let me just explain a little bit about my kitchen. So I don't like to have my cats be in my kitchen. So let, let's, let's create a story right now. Imagine Milo goes in the litter box and he comes out with an explosion of the anus where there's a lot of diarrhea. <laughs> and um, he's like, oh, where do I want to rub my asshole after this? So he goes up on my kitchen counters where you prepare your food, where you cook your meals, and you have no idea that he just went there after with his diarrhea. And it's just, I don't want cat feet on my kitchen counters. I don't want their asshole possibly like near anything food related. So I just really want to hardcore keep my cats out. And this is my solution for now. Um, I don't really cook anything right now. So the kitchen is just there for chopping oranges and like washing my hands and preparing the pet food and washing my fruit, you know, making some tea. And uh, all right, well here we have <laughs> um, so this is my gut and uh, I, I purposefully separated it into two colors. This indicates the dough, the gray, and no, I'm just kidding. I, it was the only color they had, otherwise I would get white also. <laughs> but um, this was an idea I found online. They're wire shelves and they are four feet tall. Cats can't jump over it, but honestly, after observing my cats, I don't really think it needs to be this tall because when they come across a boundary, they like look through it. They don't look up. They don't find a way over it. They're just like, oh, I, I, this is something I can't pass. Oh, this is life now. So over here, I bought this bookcase when I moved here because I've been more into reading lately and I've just really enjoyed um, 
specific books I really like. So I wanted to put them on display. So Circe by Madeline Miller, I love that book. And then next to that is Where the Crawdads Sing, being made into a movie coming out next month in July. And then we got The Song of Achilles, also by Madeline Miller. And then we have The Wolf Den by Elodie Harper. And then down here, we have Kenny Powers riding his jet ski and all these Dota plushies along with a bunch of books. These books on this shelf here, I haven't read yet, but I will be starting them soon. And then, okay, all right. And uh, that's, that's good enough for my bookshelf, but I'm very happy that I have it because I, I really wanted to display it and just not keep them in boxes anymore. But um, this is my dining table, by the way. So I have never purchased a dining table. I live by myself. Nobody enters my threshold of my door. And uh, this is good enough for me. And I can scoot it around, like, you know, move it when I want to eat. And then when I don't want to eat, I just like toss it to the side. And then when I want to eat breakfast, I bring it back over here. <laughs> Anyways, so um, this was a spare desk that I bought for work. Once I started working remotely, um, I just assumed that I would have my own separate workstation. But right now, since I bought the Odyssey G9 monitor, I'm able to use that for work and for my personal computer. And that also allows me to have the same peripherals for both. So I liked that idea and that made this desk a little bit unused for a while. But now that I have this place, I have my old computer down here and I connect it to my TV. So I still have the same setup where I'm able to watch TV by connecting it to my old computer. And basically this has become like my, my, media, my media PC. And then lastly, we just have this cat tree over here in the corner. Um, I don't tend to like traditional cat trees. I think they look kind of weird. It's just a bunch of carpet that's like squares and rectangles and fucking vertical and then freaking platforms and then string dangling and then there's like a rat there and then there's all these things dangling everywhere. So I just thought this looked a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And there's a bunch of holes in there. So each platform has a hole so the cat can go up and then go down and then they can jump out from the side. So um, my cats have, for the most part, really enjoyed using it and it's fun to watch them play with each other on there. Sometimes there's a cat on the inside and then there's a cat on the outside, like fucking trying to right hook all, constantly. And um, yeah, good investment. He has gotten a bit bigger and his corazón is also beating really hard. <laughs> but you, you go on over there now. We go in, in, into my bedroom. So my bedroom is very small. It only fits like less than one person really. But um, got, got my nice bed over here. And uh, oh, didn't even show that. Got my nice bed over here. It is very cramped having my computer in my room. But I found that to be really important because Bao is still very young right now. And he still messes with shit. And there's so many wires with my computer. I can't protect it all. So I don't want him to be playing with the wires. And I also wanted peace when I'm doing work. I can't be in the same room as Ba when I'm working. And this allows me a little bit of space and privacy and just needing separation, you know? So um, I finally purchased the monitor arm for the Odyssey G9. That's why you see it's levitation. And um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's also offset like this. I know some people might be like kind of complaining like feng shui, their freaking radars going off in their head like, oh, I don't know what's going on here. But um, it's because when I stream, I want to be able to look straight and have Dota in the front. And then when I have um, stream labs on the left side, I just usually have chat showing right here. So I barely even have to glance over here if I ever want to read chat. But um, for the most part, whenever I use my computer, I use left and right. I don't put anything in the center. So centering my monitor, I feel like didn't make a lot of sense because I would still be turning my head left and right when I use it. Um, I've got my Rode pod mic over there, my Scarlett Solo USB, whatever audio interface over there. And uh, Riley is trapped in the closet because this room is so small, there ain't no space for nothing. So 
She's in there tucked cozy. I actually wonder also, being in here, maybe it's a bit cooler and maybe less heat gets in here, or it could be the opposite. It's smaller and there's more heat contained in here. But um, let me do this. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is just my motorcycle jacket. This is my heat gear. These are my riding pants. This is my down jacket. This is my textile jacket. This is my North Face jacket. <laughs> <laughs> this is my underwear. This is my other underwear. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, I mean the closet, it's, it's small, but it probably feels small because of this. But I guess I'm trying to make the most out of the little space that I have. And then over there in the corner, we've got dear Samuel resting because he's senile and he can't really move anymore. <laughs> and um, I also decided to buy the dog bed because... I just wanted it to be a little bit more comfortable for Ryla because for a while I was letting her on my bed, but I just really didn't like the thought of all this husky hair on my bed constantly. And also her dirty paws when we play fetch out there, she's getting so much dirt everywhere. So I don't want her on my bed anymore. Yeah, so she just stays on the dog bed uh, throughout the day when I'm working and also when I'm streaming. And uh, I guess we can move on over to the laundry room. Nothing too exciting here. I wash my clothes over here and um, there's some storage space over here. I don't really do anything around here. Uh, just a bunch of stuff that I don't really ever use. I have Riley coming over here. Riley, come on over here. Come on. No, nothing. Okay, very good. A little late. And then we have the baño in here. The bathroom. Uh, a traditional bathroom. Oh, I have to remark on something real quick. This is the first toilet in a while where I have been able to flat foot when I want to take a shit or when I want to pee. And for people that don't live life in the five foot three range, this is a big deal because when you're trying to poop and your toes <laughs> are like this, it's not comfortable sitting there for a long period of time and people need to understand that you know, when you're shorter, some things can be problematic, like the depth of a couch, the height of a toilet. So very helpful that I can now flat foot whenever I'm sitting there. The shower is a typical shower, but, um, you know, it's good enough for me. We've got an opening mirror. And then we have another mirror over here. <laughs> another mirror. <like. laughs> another mirror. You see Capture my cameraman. That's right. <laughs> You're bad. You're supposed to catch it at an angle. Oh, yeah, you're right. Who's okay. recording? <laughs> 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 Maybe. See this guy here. So I have this small little fenced in outdoor area that has a small turf area right here that's really convenient for letting Riley go to the bathroom or poop or whatever. And then I also have a seat there that I like to sit outside and read. Um, nice convenient hose that I use to water my, my lovely plants. So here we have Raimunda one. And uh, she's just, you know, sleeping still. <laughs> and then uh, here we have Raimunda two. They are both plumerias. And I pretty much named them Raimunda because of uh, Penelope Cruz, her character in Volver by Pedro Almodovar, a very entertaining movie and its inspiration. So that's, that's where I got the name from. And uh, I think that's, that's pretty much a very complete tour of my house. So I, I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned a little bit more about me and uh, have a nice day.